right, so here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Akashev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book, and the X factor tonight is that has blue in his corner. Yeah, and if one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbou. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbou's presence <laughs> in the Makashev. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC heavyweight championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! John! And there's Herb Dean. Ready he will fight. handle the action inside Ready. the octagon. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the offer. in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Massive, he lands from side clinch. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Johnny Bump. Nice shot lands from the bottom. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, switch kick lands. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Jones. Escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick clock there. Takedown defense is there. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. And that one certainly found the target. 
not great kicks also. He needs to be a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Yeah, nice kick. Nice. Nicely done. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Great grounded palm by this man. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Islam Makashi. Back to the feet now. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high levels of martial arts. Makashev's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thank you. Oh, an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over. Here, what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Now he's back up. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. And now some separation. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Oh, Jones gets up. He is back on the feet here. Makashev's thigh starting to show serious signs of bruising now. for him to try to set it up again here. Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks, knees, side kicks. He kicks in so many ways. Jones is trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. The triangle choke is locked in. This is a beautiful technique. He just has to get his feet behind his knees. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, flatten him on his back there. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. with the ground and pound here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Two rounds in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Makashev's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cup man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
and he switches to South. Not going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and works out for him there. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh, some bruising starting to develop, and that could... Jones is trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, that triangle choke is wicked tight now. Look at him fighting. He's not going to quit on the submission attempt. Oh, this is tight. Good work. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes a bitch over here. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Control now. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. There's a kick. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Jones gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh, nice elbow. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. In the half guard. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big punch land. Ooh. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Oh, to the mouth. Jones is in half goal. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks submission or big ground and pop. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Locked it on the Kimura now. Now he's got to get his knees above the head, separate the arm from the body, and then just turn to try to get him to tap. Hang on a second. Beautiful job to escape. The level of awareness that he just showed there tells you how high level a mixed martial artist this man is. Nice defense. All right, close guard now. He's got his foot on the hips. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Look for him to try to move the arm across so they can start getting head pressure up. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position.
All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice double leg, nice finish. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last you ready to fight you ready fifth Good. and final round beautiful little hook starting to do some really significant damage to the body here another strike lands there Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. There's the single. Pass the half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Islam Akasha. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up. Oh, oh that's it! The bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Islam Makachev. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.